Good morning! It's October 2nd, 2019. I'm Kimberly Jolly from the Fat Quarter Shop and this is our Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube. Thank you everyone for watching. It is awesome that you guys watch um, and I have a lot of stuff today. Um, I'm super excited about today because we have so many things to show you so I'm hoping that we have lots of ideas that you can take and use in your house and like so many ideas. Um, it's almost so much that I just know that I'm not going to remember everything. But Lori Holt and I are going to be launching Stitchtober next week from October 7th. Nice. Sorry, October 9th through October 16th. We're going to encourage you to stitch whatever you want for fall and Halloween for those days. It's nine days of stitching. So Stitchtober starts October 9th stitch for nine days and we're just encouraging you to stitch um, fall and Halloween and I'm gonna be showing you some things that I'm stitching I'm not gonna do nine different projects I'm gonna do an assortment and I have different goals um, for what I want to finish in that time and so I'm gonna show you that but first I wanted to start off with our free stitch tober chart these this little chart works with Lori Holtz patterns each of the squares is 24 by 24, which are all of her patterns. So I'm going to show you what Lori did to kick this off. This is Lori's. And so she used her medium frame that you can buy at Fat Quarter Shop, which comes white. She painted it with pitchfork paint. And I'm sure she's in the comments, so if you have questions on how she antiqued it or how she did any of it, I'm sure she can help you. And on the back, she signed it, and then this is her backing. She put some Farm Girl fabric on the back. And we have a thread pack to go with hers. So if you just like her thread colors, we've got a thread pack. Now all of the DMC thread packs we have this week are very limited because DMC is um, kind of backlogged right now on filling, but we have everything ordered. But if you wanted to make hers, this is what you would need. And if you buy the thread pack, Denise was super awesome and she put together this which will tell you which SKUs Lori used in which block and the block names. So if you wanted to make yours, because that's one of the questions we get so much is, you know, they want to make it exactly like Lori's. So all of these patterns right here are the patterns that Lori and I used. So Farm Girl Fall and any of these in here are 24 by 24 so they will fit in your free download. And these four are all 24 by 24, including this rooster or chicken or whatever this is. I'm not a farm girl, so I don't know what that is, but it box. So whatever that box is. So all so you've got five blocks here to choose from. And a lot of you guys already have these patterns. So it's a way to, to do it. And then these are both 24 by 24. These are her stitch cards, set A, set B. Set C will be coming out later this year. And again, these are the nine that Lori did, and here's her thread pack. I'm gonna show you what I did. So this is what I did. I did this little pillow, and I used some of the blocks Lori used, and some different ones. Like I used the turkey, I, I did the turkey, she didn't. You know, we both did the acorn. Actually, we didn't. She didn't do the acorn either. But we both did, let's see, we did the sunflower in the center. That's one thing. And we did the scarecrow, but we did ours totally different. So I'm going to put them right next to each other so you can just really see the difference in styles. And I, she framed hers, and I made mine a pillow, and I used her granny chic fabric. And I'm going to show you a tutorial in a little bit on how I put my pillow together and why it's really poofy because there is a reason why it's poofy. And this is my thread pack. So this is the threads that I used 
and I basically, you know, just went, I wanted something fall that was totally different than farm girl fall because I made this last year and they're both, both of these are going in my house and I'm sure just like you guys, I don't want to make the same thing twice. So I made it totally different colors, everything so that it wouldn't be the same thing in my house and most people who, you know, if they don't cross stitch, they don't even know that this is the same thing. So they're going to be in the same house, but different, but still be cute enough. So this is the original Farm Girl Fall that I did last year. This is Lori Holt's pattern. And I had it professionally framed and I put a little sticker on the back with my name, the year, and the name of the pattern. So now Lily's going to help me. We're going to do a little walkthrough of what I did to make this pillow. So my fabric, I used 25 count pewter Lugana. And when I was done and I put it on my sewing table, my fabric was not 100% straight, so it was very crooked. And I probably at that point should have just framed it because then you wouldn't be able to tell it was crooked. But I thought, you know, Lori framed hers. I gotta be different. So I used some of her granny chic fabric and laid it out. And then I drew my lines and I basically drew my lines to where that would be my stitch line. And so you can see kind of in the corners how it's not exactly straight. And then I cut a quarter inch away from the line. And so that's how it looked. And so you can see it's not, it's not perfectly straight, which of course at this point I'm about to have a meltdown. And then I added the two side pieces. And you can see the crookedness and then I added the top and bottom. And so you can really see there that it is not perfectly straight. So what I decided to do was I quilted it with soft and stable and I only quilted right inside the lines right next, right there. So right next to the pieces just to hold it in place. And then that's how it looked. And so you can see it's really not straight. So I trimmed it down to like 11 and a half and then I put binding on it. That's just the edge, how I kept it, kept the edge down before I put the binding on. That is my backing. So I just did my um, two rectangles that I overlapped. I let them overlap about four inches and then that's my pocket on the inside. That is a technique Lori Holt taught me. It's in several of her books. I've done several videos on it. So it's basically an envelope back. And then that's my binding. And I basically made it to where a 12 inch pillow. I think that's probably the last photo. Mm -hmm. So I basically put it in this pillow that's 12 inches, but it finished 11 because I knew if it was poofier, you would not see all the mistakes. So you cannot tell there are that it's not perfectly straight but if I would have made this 12 inches I think you would have really been able to see it and so this is my pillow and um, it's just a poofier pillow it's 11 inches um, 11 and a half inches finished but I put but I put a 12 inch pillow inside um, I really like it so um, we have all of the patterns on sale Fall and Halloween through tomorrow at midnight. Celebrate Stitchtober. So if you're interested in stitching along with us, our hashtag is FQS Stitchtober. I will be posting, Lori Holt will be posting. Um, I would love for you guys to join me and show it and um, just celebrate Stitchtober with us. And I think that is all I have on Stitchtober. So that is all that I have for a second, but I'm gonna answer questions and then I'm gonna talk about my plans for what I'm, because obviously I did this for Stitchtober. And one of the reasons we also did this, sorry, I forgot, is there's nine squares. So if you wanted to do nine squares for nine days, you could get one project done. So this is our first idea on what you could do for Stitchtober, mine or Lori's. My plans for Stitchtober, I'm gonna show you my plans. My first one is, during Mania, I started 
the October Cottage of the Month by Country. Country Cottage Needleworks. And I brought it back out this week and I got all of the center done. So all I've got to do is the top and bottom. So my first goal for Stitchtober is to have this completely done. My next one was also Mania and I worked a little bit on this. To get this ready for Stitchtober, my goal is this should be finished by the end of Stitchtober. And here is mine. I stitched this Cafe Mocha Country. on Cafe Mocha Country by Wichelle. And if you look at it, on the top and the bottom there's a border and some flowers and some Smyrna stitches. I am going to be changing the floss. The floss at the top is more purple and I'm going to be changing the floss, but I will finish this during Stitchtober. My next one is another scarf that I started in Mania. It's called Pumpkins for Sale by Little House Needleworks. And this is what I got done so far in Mania, which is obviously not very much. My goal for Stitchtober is just to do a little bit. This is not going to be done this year. It's a lot of work. It's very, very big. So I'll just work on it, and as much as I get done, I get done. And then I have loved this pattern since it came in stock. It's called Autumn Skies. It is by Hands On Design, Kathy Haberman, and it has two charts. And I, my goal is to start and finish both charts. I am using the fabric from our Woodshell Fabric Club, which is lamb's wool. And I went ahead and cut them down into two pieces. So I've got it ready to go. And then I figured that was really good. That's a lot for Stitchtober. I think that those are goals that are achievable and um, something that I feel like I can really finish. But I have some backups. So these are ideas that I love, but I don't think I'll have time for. But we're going to do Stitchtober next year, so maybe I'll fit them in next year. So one of my runner-ups is Happy Harvest by Country Cottage Needleworks. And I love it. Chelsea from Priscilla and Chelsea is stitching it, so that's where I got the idea. This one I've been wanting to do for a while. It's Jardin Creve, Quaker de Halloween. And the two flosses that I think would look great are here. So this is kind of, I've had this all kitted up and ready to go for a couple months. So the colors are 413, and 712. So this will this will be done at some point, but it's a great idea for Stitchtober, but it's a runner up, so I'm probably not going to start it. And Gather by Time Together. I love this, but I don't think I'm going to have time to start it. So that's going to be a runner up. And then I'm going to show you some other pieces that I finished in the past that are ideas that you could do for Stitchtober because I want to take them home. <laughs> My pumpkin, oh. So this is Patchwork Halloween. Mm -hmm. We have a kit and I did a video on the live stream a couple of weekends ago. This pat, this pillow I bought at Home Goods, and that is just, um, I added fabric to the sides and stitched it down. So this would be great for Stitchtober. And it would be great if you just wanna do one project this is something I did last year. It's called Quaker Pumpkin. We still have some kits left over. I use Burlap 10 Count by Lori Holt and Aura Floss. And we have that available as a kit. So this is a great idea for Stitchtober. And I'm taking it home, so you're not going to see it again next week. Because I'm, I'm, I did decorate for fall. This is in the front of my house. It's called Be Thankful. This is a great idea for Stitchtober. We still have kits of this. This is also burlap and RF floss, and I did this last year. This hangs in the very front of my house all year round. I don't change it out. It is, I did get it professionally framed, um, even though it is pumpkins. I'm okay with that. Um, I'm not a great decorator, so this is good. This is like step one. Maybe I'll do another one. This is something that I finished a couple months ago. It is Harvest. A collaboration with Hands On Design and Priscilla Blaine. And Priscilla from the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch, who is the designer of this chart, she finished it for me. And it sits up on a little 
thing. So I'm going to take this home, decorate. It's my Stitchtober. Another idea is, I just wanted to show you this. This hangs in my office all year round. This is Lori Holt's first cross stitch pattern ever released. And these are the 24... Oh my gosh, I can't do it backwards. These are the 24, these are the four blocks, and this is the chicken. And so this is a great idea for Stitchtober too. And it's a little bit springish also. So those are what I am going to be doing for Stitchtober. I have lots of plans. But then we also have some ideas of Cheryl. These are the things Cheryl's going to work on, so you'll be seeing these finished. This is Halloween Bird by Heart in Hand. Gone Batty by With Thy Needle. She started it, but she's going to finish it. On Autumn by Tra La La. This totally looks like Cheryl, so she's going to start this during Stitchtober. This is Trick or Treat, which is Prairie Schooler, so she's going to start this one. And this is Halloween Tea by Madame Chantilly. And then, oh my gosh, these are so cute. These are what Denise is going to work on. This is a new designer called Trellis and Time, and it is called Spooky Sampler. And we just got these in. It's cute, right? And then Spooky Town. Okay, I gotta make this. I'm gonna start adding stuff. See, this is the bad part, is you start adding stuff. <laughs> this is Halloween calendar. She's gonna keep working on it. This is Tiny Modernist. I'm gonna show you where she's at on it right now. Oh my goodness, she is so amazing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look oh, at this. Man. You can't even, oh my gosh, it's so big, you can't even get it in the screen. That's so cool. I know. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. So yeah, she's using, what are you using? Uh, Stormy Night. Stormy Night. That My, it's a white art. It's a white art. 25 Count Legana. 25 Count Legana. So it was so pretty. So she's going to be working on getting this done. And this just came in last night, and she's going to start working on it. It's Jack the Lantern, Junction Farm, brand new by Priscilla and Hands on Design. It arrived yesterday, and the best part about it is it arrived just in time to be on sale for one day. So if you want to get it, 20% off, now is your time. And then I have one more for another inspiration for Stitchtober. This is Boo Chalkful. I This is my whip for the week. I finished this this weekend. And I made some changes. I made all of the pumpkins. I'm going to look in my little book. So I made all of the pumpkins, pumpkin harvest. And I made the mason jar all deep fennel, which is the color that was in the original harvest, which I'm going to show you. So this is the second design. And the difference you're going to see, on the first one, which is the sunflowers, I did one stitch on the, on the mason jar. And on the boo, I did two stitches. And the reason I did it is I was driving in the car, Kevin was driving, and I wasn't paying attention, and I did, I stitched all the way to like here. And then I realized I used two stitches, and I was like, oh, I'm not pulling that out. And I like how it came out. And I had enough fabric from my club shipment. So if you're in our club and you want to do it this way, you have plenty of fabric. And there are some other ideas that we have from Cheryl. This is Miss Fortune by the Prairie Schooler. So she's already finished this. It's all spooky and everything. So cute. And then I'm going to show you the back. There is a lady local to us that finishes her stuff. And I will ask Cheryl if I can say her name. I'm not sure if she wants us to say her name. This is Nevermore by Prairie Schooler. And I'm just going to show you this because it's amazing. So she had this professionally framed. This is one of Prairie Schooler's older charts that they have re-released. And so she made it when it first came out. So that is our inspiration for Stitchtober. So next week, I'm going to be showing you more just some stitching. Kind of, I'm going to focus next week more on what I'm going to be doing and how much I can get done this weekend before we start, um, but all of these decor for my house is going home because I did decorate for fall. 
um, or I started to. So um, I want to get everything home. Um, I would love to answer any questions you guys have on Stitchtober before we move on. Okay, so first thing uh, that I kind of picked already today is like my favorite comments. Uh, lots of people were kind of giving us weather reports. I'm going to do a little weather what? report from around the world. Uh, Susan Warner said, hello from snowy Calgary, Alberta, Canada. It's snowing? No. Debbie Berry said, good morning everyone from rainy in Illinois. And Susan Glenn said, morning y'all from steamy Cincinnati. Here it's just hot. <laughs> yeah, it's just hot. It's a little cloudy today. It's kind of yeah. nice. Um, so I just thought it was cool that everyone was kind of giving us a weather report. Yeah, my son would love that. <laughs> and, okay, Doreen Deskins is asking, why is your Lujana not straight? That's an even weave. It is an even weave. I don't know what happened. Um, and, you know, it was only off like an eighth of an inch. It's only off a little bit. But, you know, I really um, like my things to be 100% perfect. I don't want anything off at all. So it kind of, I think just the imperfectionist, it just kind of didn't work so well with my personality. Um, I would still make it the same way. Um, and maybe next time that something's crooked, I'm just going to frame it the same as Lori's. And, you know, I just wanted to be different. I didn't want to do the same thing Lori was doing, um, but I probably should have. Probably would have looked better. Okay. And then Miami Stitches was saying, can we see a sneak peek of the floss fix for this month? Can't wait to get it. Sure. Uh, we're going to have to... Next week? Next week? No. Do you want to go get it? Yeah. We'll go get it. <laughs> okay. So we're going to figure out how to get it in here. Well, somebody's going to sneak it in the door. Okay. We will get it. It's going to be a while, but I've seen it. It's cute. And the floss fix is currently sold out um, for now, but we will soon open it up probably in a month for more members. But yes, I can get you a sample. And Libby Clemens was asking, um, 25 count Lugano is like what count in Ada? 12 and a half. 12 and a half. Okay. And Frida Ritter says, what is your secret to stitching without a hooper frame? I try and mine looks messy against hoop work. One of the things that I do is I will use wonder clips and I can show you when I have, I have something else I can show you. Um, I roll it up and just hold it and get all that bulk out. I can show you on a piece that I have down here that I'm currently working on. And it just, I just have to, um, just kind of go slow at first until you kind of get the rhythm of you, every fabric is different. So some fabric you can go really fast, some fabric is slow. Um, I just think it's one of those things that practice makes perfect. Um, I never thought I could do it, but then Priscilla and Chelsea were like, you can do it, you can do it. And so I was like, yeah, I can do it. And I did. So I think it just takes time. But you know, if you, if you stitch in a hoop, stitch in a hoop, you don't have to stitch without a hoop. You can do whatever. You don't have to. And Stacey Fallon was saying, is it possible to carry more frames, especially for the country cottage needleworks, monthly cottages? Um, they're really hard to get. They're really hard to get delivered. I would just order direct from them. Um, it's just hard to get. They don't make them, you know, they don't have, it's, they're handmade. I think her husband makes them, so it's not like they're all made and you can just order and say, okay, I want 10 of each. They don't have 10 of each there. They make them as they order. So it's just better to order from them on those kind of things. For Lori's frames, what we did is we, um, she picked the size, the finish, the everything so that it would be um, her style. So with Lori's, we did do that custom order. But other than that, um, it's kind of harder because it took months and months to get that. Because, you know, they have to make them. They're not just like direct order from China. You know, they're handmade. So it's a little bit different. And Angie Mishler says, will you be carrying more of the Stony Creek charts? Um, I don't know. If you have any recommendations for, for ones you're interested in, if you can email us, that would be great. And Rebecca Sewing says, this may be a silly question. Does anyone know why the Prairie Schooler says yes and no at the bottom? It's like the Ouija board, right? Oh, I think it's the Ouija board. Okay, for you. That makes sense. Right? Those things are scary. Yeah, it's a Ouija board. <laughs> I think. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't checking. I mean, it doesn't. It's. It's not gonna say. Yeah, I think it's a Ouija board. If I had to guess, I mean, somebody can correct me, but I would think it would be that. 
I used to do that with my friend Lauren when we were little. Oh my gosh, I don't even dare. I'm terrified. Oh, I don't believe in that stuff. We used to just lie. We used to just move it and then tell each other, oh, I moved it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Teresa Rowan says, do scissors and pencil fit in the tin container? The tin container. I think so. Yeah. Oh, that little guy. Okay. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Okay. And Jessica Jane is asking, when will Halo Go be back in stock? Soon. I'm going to tell you a funny story about it, though. So we got more. We've had two shipments come in and sell out. We have a ton on order. We have like hundreds on order because I keep ordering. So I'm going to tell you a little story about my Halo Go. It's a really sad story. It's a really, really sad story. So I, um, Saturday, Emma had dance, of course. Then we come home. It's like 2 o'clock. I'm tired already because I've been running around in a taxi. Just like, oh, so tired. I get home and we have had this chandelier. I'm going to tell the whole story because it helps. We've had this chandelier that fell down in our house months and months and months ago. We had to have the glass replaced, so I took care of that. It was like $300, great. So Kevin had gone while I was at dance with the boys to Home Depot, and they got the new casing that you need to put in the thing. So he's literally standing on our island in our kitchen on a ladder. I'm scared to death, but I'm like, okay, I'm going to stay in here in case something happens. He, he's fixing it. Took, took us four, four and a half, five hours. Him, not me. I did have to stand up there for a little bit. So I'm on the couch and I have it here and I'm just like, I'm just like moving it. Like it's between my legs and I'm just moving it and I'm just jerking it. I broke it. So I broke it out of the socket and where the wire is. And he was like, that is not fixable. And then Christopher's like, mommy, how much did that cost? How much did you break? How much did it cost? How much did you cost? And I'm like, stop making it worse. So anyway, Kevin was like standing on this, thing watching me the whole time he's like Kim you're not using it right you can't use it like that you've got to put it on a table and then bend it you can't do what you were doing so it wasn't fixable we did have to throw it away because I thought it would be a fire hazard if you even used it because I it was just not fixable Kevin looked at it and was like laughing at me he's like this is not fixable so just don't jerk it around um, it needs to go kind of like this but I don't know what I was doing um, but I did break mine so I had to buy another one but yes soon here is our floss fix if Thank you're you in our for delivering. Oh, yes, thank you. So, here we go. These are the colors. This is your packaging and it comes in this with this cute little sticker that says the month. So you can store them if you want. So this is going to be our October 2019 club. Okay. Let's see. Stephanie Metz was asking, what do you mean by one stitch and two stitches? When you're talking about, I did it over two or one. So if you're working with a linen or an linen or an even weave, you would stitch over two. If you're using Ada, you would stitch over one. And so that's what that means. Over one, over two. It's like a cross stitch term. Uh, okay, we had two more weather reports come in from Anna Nora Conti. Conti? Uh, weather report from New York City, 90 degrees today. That's crazy. Oh, that is. All the way up north. Um, Dot Dot Goose Design says 53 cool and windy in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I could live anywhere where it's cold. I think I would just, like, never leave the house. But <laughs> I've, I've always lived in Austin. I've always lived within, I would say where I live right now, I, within 40 minutes of where I grew up. I am, I have never left. Um, I don't think I would ever leave. But yeah, it's hot here, and it really has been fine. I mean, it's just hot. It's just what it is. Mm. Um, and then Christine Martinez says, what fabric is Kimberly stitching the Halloween calendar on? So Denise is stitching it. It's so cute. So Denise is doing that. It is 25 count Lugano Swigart Stormy Night. night. Stormy Night. <laughs> Stitchy Widget says, so is the chandelier fixed? It is. So basically, it, it was just a, it's a silver piece of, we had three of them in the kitchen. So if it, you can't just like replace one. So they all had to match. So we tried to find one and it was discontinued. So we were like, okay, we're going to fix it. So I called the glass company. They came and they ordered the glass and then they came back, they installed the glass and it had just fallen out of, I guess, the sheetrock. So Kevin just figured out what needed to go and he went up there and 
me and Christopher held the thing and now I thought I was gonna die and he was making fun of me because I'm super uncoordinated um, and so that's like always been our joke like before we got married he used to be like I don't know if I could marry you I don't know my kids are not gonna be good at sports <laughs> so um, it, his, his wish might have come true because they're not <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. I mean, we just like really like that's just how we are. We're very, um, but yes, it was very scary to fix it. But we did fix it. It took two times. I mean, it really did take from like two thirty to like I think we were done at six. I mean, it took a long time, but you know, we got it done, and um, all the things around the house are fixed, so we're feeling good. Okay, and then uh, Laura Whitfield uh, is correcting me. I asked the wrong thing. She said when she was talking about the mason jar, she meant um, one strand and two strands. So that's what that question was oh, about. Oh, okay. So, so the way that Priscilla and Kathy wrote the pattern is on this one, they wanted it, the blue, to be one strand. So you would stitch it the same exact way as everything else, except, so all of this is two strands. And then they wrote this pattern to be one strand and they they wrote it in the pattern it says so that it gives a look of the mason jar you know like a mason jar you can see through it and on this one i just wasn't paying attention and i used two strands and it came out darker and i liked it so i just left it um and i think that's okay i mean nobody's gonna sit in well in my house anyway nobody's gonna compare things next to each other and say why is one darker and one lighter, you know, and I'd already done all the work and I really um, wanted to get that done so that I could um, get it, figure out how to frame it and all that. Okay, and then just a reminder to everyone that all of our fall and Halloween themed cross stitch patterns are on sale until tomorrow, Thursday, October 3rd, no coupon required. Yes. So um, I wanted to talk about Snow Village for a little bit. So if you are in our club, which is now closed, this is how Snow Village will look if you piece it in one piece. So the chart that you got for the first month is right here. So you would start, if you're making it in one piece, you would start in the very center. You'd find the center of that pattern and start in the center. And on here, we give you a link right here to that image, the image that you just saw, there's a link right here. Everything included, if you want to cut it apart, here is your diagram. Here is your fabric that you would have gotten. This is the linen, and the Ada is very similar. So I just wanted to show you that, and I wanted to show you that I started mine. And since our club sold out, I decided to just be different and do something different because I just wanted to be different. So I bought this fabric that is now sold out. It's called White Petite Point on Gray. We will get more in about three weeks. And I started my Snow Village. And this is 18 count. And here is my, this is kind of how it looks. So I just wanted to be different and I am doing different colors. So this is the color set I'm using. I just wanted to be a little bit different. And so I have it all kitted up in my bag with all my little floss flowers. I know they look ratty, but this is my floss flowers. So I'm doing, um, it's just a little bit different and we put together a thread pack. We only have a couple because, like I said, DMC is just behind. This is our brand new Bloomtopia bag. It has our design for our cross stitch free pattern that we are going to be doing starting next year to benefit Make-A-Wish. So our bags came in, perfect size. So that's what I did with Snow Village. Um, if you're stitching with us, if you're in our club, do the hashtag FQS Snow Village. And Cheryl has a piece that we're going to show right now. Oh, so there's Cheryl. So Cheryl's daughter is, um, she is helping her daughter right now. 
and she's out of town so this is what she did she got so much done so she's stitching on the linen she's a member of our club and she's stitching it exactly as shown and that's how much she got done and that was actually two days ago so I bet by now she's already got uh, more done and Cheryl and I our goal is each month we're gonna finish each piece so whatever we need to do to finish the piece that's what we're gonna do so that is snow village so let me know if you have any questions on snow village yes, let me see and if you know if if we get more floss um, we will be opening that back up we have plenty of patterns we have plenty of fabric it's always the floss Sharon Berkemeyer was saying, can we still purchase all the patterns separately for the Snow Village? Yes. So Snow Village is a series that is coming out for 11 months. The first chart that you saw is available now. It is at Fat Quarter Shop, and it is the first in the series. The rest will be coming out each month for 10 more months. So this is the one available now. So we have plenty, plenty, plenty of charts. And we have different fabrics. You know. For, let me show you the blue fabric again and show you the linen. Let's see. So on this linen, this comes 32 count. So we have four different, we have different options if you want to stitch different. So what we did is this is the color Country French Rain. The way that Country Cottage Needleworks wrote it was 16 count Ada or 32 count linen. So we have that. If you want to do it on a count that's easier to see, we also have 14 and 28 count. So we have four options in this color fabric so that you can do, you know, we wanted you to, if you want to, you know, do it however you want to do it, we um, just make sure we have everything. Okay. Uh, Candy Curl was asking, do you have to wait to order the Bloomtopia bag? No, it's on sale right now. And you can use it for quilting too. Um, it just came in and it's super cute and it's so funny because Kevin brought it home and he was like, this is so big and I was like, I love it, it's perfect. And I was like putting stuff in it and I was like, how dare you say it's too big? I was like, this is my product. <laughs> He's like, but it's so big. I'm like, it fits all the things. So it is really big. That's great. It's awesome. And April Jackson was asking, how many strands of DMC are you using for Snow Village? So I'm using two, and I am using the light. I, um, I'm going to tell you a little story about, about this. So um, in this cloth, these dots are printed on top. So you can see the back. So it's printed. It's not hard to stitch through them. I have to use my light, and I stick and stab. Oh, this is what I was going to show you. So when I'm stitching this, you can see all the creases. So the way that I stitch in hand is I put two wonder clips, one at the top, sorry, one at the top, one at the bottom, and then I just hold it in my hand and stitch. So that's how I stitch it. I kind of get all the stuff on the side out of my way. But I stick and stab. I do the railroad method, which we have two, several videos on how to do that on the white. I have railroaded every single one of those stitches. This took me just that part. I'll tell you how long it took me. Because I keep it in my little cross stitch journal. A little over seven hours just for that. Um, it's, it's, it's slow. But I really, um, what I decided on the Snow Village is I wanted to do it as one piece. And I have, I, I want to frame it. I want to get it professionally framed. So I thought if I, if I make it one piece, you know, I don't have a lot of, a lot of what I do um, for decorating, I put on easels. I don't, we don't have a lot of things hanging on the wall. We just, Kevin and I like our house to be very, I don't want to say boring, but um, we just don't like things on the wall because they go out of style. Then you got to change it so um, we do all our decorating on um, we have some bookcases and tables and we really decorate the tables and the kitchen and I mean we decorate everywhere except the walls so for this I thought let me make it as small as possible so it will fit on an easel and I can get it framed because I do try to think about what where is it ultimately gonna go in my house and how can I make it work for what I'm doing uh, Mary Lou Kleiner was asking, what cloth was Lori's done on? 25 count Lugana oatmeal. 
it might be sold out now. And that was the one that I was telling you guys last week that it was about to sell out. I have a package of it right there. <laughs> right in front of her. So this is how it comes packaged. I think we're sold out, but we should be getting more very soon. And um, it's really pretty. Katrina. It's what we stitched Happy Camper on too. Sorry. Uh, Katrina Erickson says, what cloth would you recommend for the Snow Village that is 14 count? I would do the 14 count French Country Rain. That, and we bought that specifically for people who want to do 14 count. And we also cut it where when you buy it, it's a big enough piece to where you can either stitch it as one piece or cut it down. Okay. And Christine, let me try this, Nikunas Buyer says, is there something in the pattern that tells you the layout for all the patterns? So um, you would go to, this is the layout okay. for it. If you go to her website, which is listed on our color chart that you would get in the club, if you just go to Country Cottage Needleworks and click on Snow Village, this is the layout. You stitch all of these one piece away, one stitch away. So you would just, all of her, all the information is on her website. And if you have any questions, I'm sure if you email her, but basically everything is one stitch away. And then this is one stitch from here. Everything is just even. And Lori Lovin says, if you are doing the Ada fabric, is that to stitch over two? Stitch over one. Linen and even weave would be stitch over two. Okay. And then Shelly Fry says, can Kimberly show us hers again? Your Snow Village. Yeah. Yay. Oh, they're so cute. Yeah, so I started this on Monday, and I started it. I've been doing it at work. And I, what I do whenever I'm doing a project, no matter what project it is, whatever the part is that I think is the hardest or that's going to take the longest, I do that all first. So my plan is to do on this. My plan is I'm going to do all of the white. So I'm going to do all I've got left is right here. And then I'm going to come and do all the white, every every piece of white. And then I'm going to make the, the little snowman come to life. Then I'm going to do the letters. And then I'm going to do the trees. So I am um, having fun with it. It's very different. Um, I will definitely have to be careful with my light and um, not break it this weekend because my son will remind me, how much did that cost, Mom? How much did you waste? I'm like, oh, a lot. Um, Renee Grock. Uh, oh, Renee. and I'm using a size sorry. 28, sorry, I'm size, using a size 28 Pat Carson needle. It will not, that fabric will not work with a size 26 because I learned that also. So I forgot that part. Sorry, Lily. No, you're good. Uh, Renee Geyer says, since we can't see the future parts of Snow Village, can you tell if, we'll, if it will be Christmassy or wintry? I have no idea because she won't let us see either. Oh. So all I've seen is what you see. Um, she doesn't give an advance look. She does have on her Instagram and her Facebook two of the other charts that you could see. Um, so you could go look there, but I haven't seen them either. So I have no idea. Of course, if you changed your floss colors, you know, you could make it you know, you can, by changing the floss colors, you can tilt it which way you would like also. Okay. And then Sandy Rock says, how big of a piece of fabric are you using for Snow Village? For mine, I am using, I have it in my little book. I am using, I believe, a fat quarter. So my, um, the finished size of the whole thing, if you're gonna stitch, okay, so if you're gonna stitch it all as one piece, it's 223 by 185 stitch count. So you would have to divide that, divide your your size of your fabric by that. But on mine, I am using 18 count. I should finish at 12 and a half by 10.25. And the piece I started with was 18 by, 21. 18 by 21. So I should have plenty of room around it. And you just want to make sure it's, it's a landscape. So you want to make sure if your fabric goes this way that you make it go this way and not this way or you might be short. That was one of the things that I was kind of scared to do. And then what I did in my little book to make it easy 
is I put on the left the floss that Country Cottage Needleworks used and on the right that's my conversion so as I'm stitching I just look and see you know my conversion so having this really helps me because I don't you know if I you know at some point what if you put a project down and you don't come back to it for a year you want to be able to find it and then just from Brenda LaCroix I love flower thread will you ever carry it you love what flower thread no idea what that is Oh, yeah yeah I have no idea what that is sorry okay so I have some other stuff to give you guys that is free so if you watch the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch on Saturday they gave out a free pattern this is my version of it. So I saw it on Saturday morning when I was sitting in the parking lot at dance. And so I was sitting, I was sitting at dance and I saw it and I thought, you know, I gotta go home and do that. So my leftover from Boo. So I had just made this. And guess what? In the club, there's extra fabric. Stitched it on here. And from Boo, there was also leftover chalk thread. So I used that and I just pulled from my DMC for the rest. This is the free pattern right here. To get the free pattern, you must go to their blog. We have it linked below. It's priscillas2000.blogspot.com. You can download the free PDF. So this is the full pattern. Now you can see I cheated and I took the chicken off. And I'm going to talk a little bit about how I finished it in a second. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is Denise's. I just oh. saw it. So she took and moved the words above. Me and Denise, we're not chicken people. <laughs> well, and Priscilla and Chelsea are okay with that. They know. Oh, well, I was looking at yours and I'm like, I wonder why it's called Chicken Joy. Yeah, it's, yeah I'm sorry. I'm now. So, so we have a link to that. Big shout out. Thank you to them. Yay. And this, she did all of her little balls yellow. And she also used the leftovers from her club, the chalk. And then these, I just kind of, I'll, I'm going to tell you. So now I'm going to tell you the colors I used in case you guys have questions. Go to the priscillas2000.blogspot.com for the free pattern. I'm going to tell you what I did, and I'm going to show you real quick how I finished it. I did all of this. Actually, I finished it Sunday. I started it Saturday night. After, what happened was I broke my light and I couldn't keep going with what I was doing. So I had to do something easy. So I was like, well, I'll just do this. So I used Gentle Arts chalk that was left over. For my green, I used 320. For red, 347. For yellow, 3820. For gray, 04. And for aqua, 959. So I'm going to put that right there. If you like what I did, you can take a screenshot of it. And I forgot to put my end date. I'll have to fill that in. So now I'm going to show you a slideshow of how I finished mine. First, my patent, this, we decorated for fall on Saturday and Sunday. And I found this in my drawer. This is no longer available, but it's from Pier 1. Ooh. It says $12.95 is what I paid for it. I have just had this, so I didn't go and buy anything. Everything I got, everything I made this with was at home, and it's kind of got a little felty texture. And I I just bought it because I liked it. Who knows when? I mean, I don't know when I bought it. So I'm going to show you how I finished it. So this is the pattern and my little finish before I started. So that was how much, that's how much fabric I had left over, and that's kind of how it looked before I put it in the frame. And then that is, okay, there's your, there's your screenshot. So it took me 5.75 hours, and if you want to make it just like mine, there is my color conversion for you. And then um, in the piece, there's a mirror. I mean, a mirror. <laughs> a piece of glass. So I just put the piece of glass on top and figured out how I wanted it to look, and then I traced around it with a chalk pencil. Smart. And then I cut it out. I also cut out a piece of 80-20 Happy Cloud batting. And then I glued the batting to the brown piece that goes on the back and then the top piece. So that's me gluing that down. And then I put the black piece on top. And you can see I cut off some stitches. So what I had to do on mine is 
Okay. So what I had to do on mine is I added snow, more snow to the left, and I added more snow to the air. And it was mm. quick. Yeah, so that's a great way to use your own. So I hope that you guys stitch that. There is a hashtag. It is PC Chicken Joy. Mm -hmm. So you can use that hashtag. All the credit goes to them. I just had fun doing it, and it was a great, um, since my light broke and I couldn't really work on the intricate thing that I was trying to work on, um, it was great because I didn't need a light for the Chicken Joy. We also have two other new free patterns. This one is called R.I.P. and it is by The Stitcher Hood. You can download this in the links below or on our website. We have permission from her to give this out free. This is how it looks. Great idea for Stitchtober. Free pattern. Another one is by Kathy Haberman. Big shout out to her for letting her letting us put this on our site also. This is by Hands on Design, Kathy Haberman. It is a freebie that goes with her Scary Apothecary series. And we have a picture. So that is how it looks all printed out. And in the top right, you can see those little pin minis. Those are the pin minis. That's what they're called, favorite broom. Favorite broom, and we sell them, and they're on sale right now. 20% off. So that is Kathy's. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. And so that pattern is also available on our website. So three new patterns. Priscilla's you would get on her blog. Priscilla and Chelsea's would, you would get on her blog. The other two you can get on our site. Just Another Button Company is, um, I love Cecile. She's so awesome. Um, I've got to tour their facilities before and I can't even tell you how amazing it is. We've got lots of videos with her and her daughter on our channel on our Fat Quarter Shop quilting channel about how they make the buttons, how they have some hand dyed, they have some clay buttons. It's amazing the process they do um, for that. Those are very interesting videos if you want to just see. I mean, it's very educational. Mm -hmm. But their buttons are 20% off. They're our notion of the month. So I'm just gonna show you some of their different products. These are some of their hand dyed buttons. They're the daughter does these. Her name is Rachel mm -hmm. and she hand, she hand dyes them. So, so everything, just another button company. These are all hand dyed. They're all 20% off. And I just kind of wanted to show you an assortment. These are also hand dyed. So they've got big, medium, small, party, mat, party packs, teeny tiny. They have all kinds of stuff. These are pin minis. These are made by the mom. She makes them with clay. We have a whole video on how she does it. It's amazing. She's also the one that made the Ronnie needle minder that is Priscilla and Chelsea's she has she... and Piggy oh and Piggy oh I forgot my dog oh, my <laughs> and then these are like this she they also make tiny buttons that go on top of cross stitch charts so I just wanted to let you guys know that that is all 20% off also that is so the patterns are on sale through tomorrow the buttons are on sale for the entire month of October. That is our notion of the month. Yeah. And if you're curious about their videos, uh, like I really mentioned, we do have some on our quilting YouTube channel. That's just Fat Quarter Shop on YouTube. And they also have a YouTube channel. Uh, I believe it's called Just Another Button Company and they have uh, cool videos on there too. Yep. Okay. And then questions. Okay, Lori Holt had said Flower Thread is by BMC. For the person who I've been asking if we would carry flower thread, it is a BMC thread. Okay, we'll look it up. We have no idea what that is. And then a lot of people are wondering what paper do you use when you print your patterns? It looks so sturdy. Cardstock. Cardstock. And you mean these? Yeah. So these. Um, oh, the one that like the free patterns, how we print them here to like cardstock. Yeah. yeah. So we do that on cardstock. It is the same exact pattern. Sorry, it is the same exact fabric that we use on our on our thread inserts. It is also what we use on Lori Holt's paper for all of her cross stitch patterns. All of Lori Holt's cross stitch patterns are printed on cardstock. They also are full color and um, that is where we get it and we pull it from the tray of Lori Holt paper because we got a lot of Lori Holt paper here. Um, and then Debbie Barry was wondering can you use that cardstock with a regular printer at home? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm Pretty, I think okay, I've yeah. done it before. Um, I've never used the glossy kind like the one we have here, so I think it should be fine to give it a go at least. 
Uh, if it jams up, her email is Lily. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No. Don't do that. Just no, comment just, on our YouTube channel. No, I'm just kidding. I'm being funny. <laughs> yeah, I don't ever want to like, I don't know. I don't ever, I'm always nervous. Yeah, no, just leave me a comment on YouTube. I will see it. <laughs> um, and Gwen Smith is saying, uh, surprised you didn't use black batting for the... Because enjoy. I didn't have any, and um, actually we don't sell any, so we are going to be stocking up on black batting because oh. that was one thing that I realized we didn't have, and um, I called Denise, are you sure we don't have any black batting? And I needed to finish it for uh, the weekend. Um, I don't have a lot of time during the week, and I just need to finish it, so we're going to order some black batting. And near my daughter's dance, because on Sunday she was at dance also, I mean, it's just like... And then baseball, so between base, the baseball field and Emma's dance and our house, the only craft store is Michael's. They do not sell batting, and I was not about to drive all the way to Joanne's, and so you can't tell. It looks great. You can't tell. But yes, I agree. You should use black batting. We just ha I just was too lazy to drive to Joanne's. And I didn't even know if Joanne's was really would really even have it, but we will stock it. I've never seen it at Joanne's. But yeah, I, it I was too lazy it. to drive over there. I was like, I'm just gonna finish this. Um, and Terry Lane's backing me up here. She says cardstock is fine in a regular printer, even glossy. There you so go. It's both me and Terry saying that. Um, Denise Henry says, is white petite point on gray the exact size you saw for the entire pattern? I bought that and wanted to do it on that. Yes. Right, Denise? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Donna Cook is asking, what size is the large design board you use? 18. 18, and they are, these are Lori Holt design boards. We sell them. She designed them. She has also done a video for us on our Quilting Fat Quarter Shop channel on how you can make them at home if you want to make it at home. Mm -hmm. I have a whole stack at home like this big. Half I've made and half I've bought. Anytime a new one comes in, I take it home, and I'm like, at some point, it's just going to hit the ceiling, and then I'm going <laughs> to... It's ridiculous. Design boards for days. Uh, <laughs> that was good. Oh, thank you. Holly O'Brien <laughs> says, what count Ada can be used for Snow Village? You can use any count. You just have to take the entire stitch size. So, for example, we're going to, if you want to do 14 count, let's just say 223 divided by 14. Or 2.9. 15. Okay, so 16. 185 by, divided by 14. Or 2.2. So 13.2 by 15 or 16. 16, so you need a fat quarter or bigger. Whatever size we're selling mm -hmm. of that fits. So if you search 14 count French country rain, that size we sell will work because Denise and I sat and did the math for you guys, knowing that a lot of people would want to do 14 count. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, Few people, including Lori, were suggesting to just use a piece of black fabric on top of your white batting if you can't, if you don't have access to black batting. That's true. I don't Smart. have any black batting at home. I don't think I have black fabric at home either. I don't really have but like we a stash. carry black fabric. Yeah, but we do have black fabric. Yes. But yeah. Okay, so we've got some new stuff. I'm going to show you. Obviously, Bloomtopia bag I already showed you. It's so cute. I'm going to buy like ten of them. I'm not kidding, I'm gonna buy 10 of them. <laughs> we now have our Bloomtopia thread packs. So if you're gonna stitch along with us, and of course it fits perfectly in here, DMC and RF Loss, it is what is listed on our pattern. The pattern will be available in January or February, something like that. It's gonna be a stitch along with I think it's February. It's going to be a stitch along. We're going to raise money for Make-A-Wish. We're already at 3000 and we're going to try to raise 50000 next year. And so we will, when we are, when we um, release the pattern, we're going to ask that if you're going to stitch along with us, that we would love for you to donate $15 directly to Make-A-Wish. And people ask, are you using the money from this and this to go to Make-A-Wish? Kevin and I write a check every year to Make-A-Wish for $10,000. We do not make $10,000 from the sale of all these things. We make much less. So $10,000 is what we give, and we just we just do this out of the kindness of our heart. We're not sitting here, like, pushing pencils and, like, trying to figure out da 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 We're just giving $10,000. Moda Fabrics also gives $10,000. And there's that. We also have some new thread packs from Priscilla and Chelsea. This is Pumpkin Spice. Old Glory. We have plenty of these. 
and stock. These are going to be their seasonal packs. And then we have Be Merry, which is now sold out, but we are waiting for more floss that has already shipped. And the second it gets here, we are going to make it. We also had a request for some brighter Ada. So we have a little bit more on order than this, but this is what is shipped to us so far. Do you have the opalescent? We'll show the opalescent next week. So we have tropical orange, touch of peach, peaceful purple. So these are some brighter colors. 14 count. So this is what she's going to do her purple. This is what Denise is going to put her Halloween on, this purple. And then we had some requests for some 14 count and dotted fabric, just like the Snow Village. So Fabric Flare made these for us. This one is Stone Cafe. Espresso. Mm -hmm. And we are also going to be getting a light gray. So that is, we ordered a light gray that would work well with Snow Village. We're going to order that in a bigger piece because I don't think this 18 by 20 inch size will work. And we have some new paint. We have had this paint for a while, but this is Lori Holt's paint that we got in little sample packs. So we have it now in sample packs. And you can see this is what she, it's chalky paint. It's so cute and tiny. I know. It'd be cute. It's just a decoration. So see, she used her paint. And so we got those in as little sample packs. And then we also sell each color individually in um, like a, the tubs, yeah. yeah, like a tub. Yeah. So that's what we have that's new. Any questions, I'm happy to answer. Um, I really want you guys to stitch with us in Stitchtober. FQS Stitchtober, please. Okay. Um, and Liz Henselmeyer says, is there a color list for Bloomtopia DMC? It will be on the blog soon. Soon. We're, um, we're basically, the blog is drafted. I'm not sure if it's posted yet because we have a blog schedule that has to go, you know, we have to fit stuff in, but it's going to come out soon. Mario Kleiner says, is the mason jar pattern done on chalkboard block? Yes. And, okay. The last thing I had here was a few more um, was like weather checks. I wasn't calling them weather checks. It was the weather report. Weather report. Thank you. Uh, Crystal Gembrilling says, 79 and humid in central Pennsylvania. Rebecca Sewing says, don't mean to brag, but it's in the 70s in Philadelphia. Um, Sherry uh -huh. Hampton says, oh, Atlanta Metro expected to hit 95. That is crazy. I think we're going to hit around 95, 96 today here in t central Texas. I'm going to hide right here in this office. <laughs> Gabriel Fuente says, here in Vegas, it's high 80s, which is a nice break from the hundreds. Linda Gillespie says, going to be storming all day in KS. I'm assuming Kansas. Kansas. Yeah, Kansas, Kansas. today. And 50s right now. That Ooh. sounds nice. Uh, oh, no, it doesn't. Yes. Oh, I'm, I'm like, sweating. please get under 70 here. <laughs> Donna Cook said 79 in Salisbury, uh, North Carolina. So I just want to shout those people out. And then, oh, Lori would make a great weather girl. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> I thought Lori was saying she would. I'm like, what? I mean, I'm sure Lori would as well. Uh, I know, but I was like, I don't know. I just. And then uh, House and Home says 30 degrees in central Washington state. Oh, um, my goodness. No. That's cold. And then, no, no. Uh, last one for today, Home Mom says Southern Dem Denver area, 49, and Drizzly. And then I also just had a few um, picture shout outs from social media. Oh, yeah. So this is Happy Camper by Margaret Williams. Super cute. She stayed true to all of Lori's colors. That is a Lori Holt pattern. Super cute. And then Sharon Crosley Davis. And she is done. This was a fun cross stitch to do, and a majority of it was done while my husband and I took our fifth wheel over 7,400 miles across 15 states within 24 days, visiting six national parks. Wonderful vacation. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Pumpkin spice and everything nice. Do we have the pattern? Oh, I can look. I think we do. 
That's really cute. We're gonna get this pattern. Okay. Oh, hang on. There we go. And this is Hello October. This is by Hands On Design. I have made this super cute. At the bottom, buttons come. You put buttons on the bottom, and I have made all of them. I just need to finish them. And this is Happy Camper that's all finished up in a Tabasco Ooh. basket. Super cute. I love the bow. I know. And the green is cute. Oh, that's amazing. That is pumpkin. Quaker pumpkin from Stitcher Hood. Super cute. You can tell she used very she I don't think she used fancy floss. I think she used variegated floss, and that's really pretty. Mm -hmm. and I think that was it. Awesome. Yay. And then just a few more questions here. Uh, Pat Barone says, hi, is there a DMC equivalent for a rain shower in the Chicken Joy pattern? There is, and I don't remember exactly what it is. It has been discussed on the Priscilla and Chelsea Facebook group. So if you go to Stitching with the Housewives Facebook group, I know that question was answered in there. Off the top of my head, I cannot remember the number, but there is one. Mary Lou Kleiner says, can we buy the individual patterns for Snow Village? Yes. So they come out individually. Right now we have one pattern available. It is on our site and um, we will be getting the remaining 10 as she releases them over the next 10 months. Okay. Janet Dabbert says, have you ordered the cross stitch fabric with the red polka dots? I yes. would like to do Yes. It arrived. Patterns. The red polka dots arrived and like last night, like at five o'clock. We're loading it. It will be online today. And last question here from April Farnham. Would you would adding a roundup button on the website for Make a Wish be an option? I'd round up all the time. Make a Wish sets oh, yeah, on our site. Yeah, no, not right now. Um yeah, that's a that's uh, on our list of things to consider. We're in the process of doing some other stuff. All that stuff sounds great, but it is hard to implement behind the scenes, but yes, that's a great idea. So guys, have a great week. Thanks for joining me. I can't wait to see what you guys are doing for Stitchtober. Make sure to use your coupon at, um, make or it's not a coupon, it's just a discount. Make sure to use your discount on your fall and Halloween patterns and on your Just Another Button companies, and I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.